Hi, in this video I'm going to show you Flosum's support for CPQ data in our data migrator solution. In this video we assume you've already seen the base data migrator video so you understand how the tool works and how it can be configured. When you have CPQ installed in your org, um, you will install data migrator into the org that has the source data, so wherever you are making the changes, whether it's a sandbox or a test org, <clears throat> and then you can use this to very easily move those modified records along through your environment just like you would your metadata changes. If you want to set it up in multiple orgs, you could do that. So if you have your your development area where you create this data initially, and then if you move it to a test org and the data gets modified there, you could put this in that test org and then move that modified data forward, but you can also move it backwards to that development org, keeping all the changes in sync. Uh, it's up to you how you want to configure this and use it, but it's very, very simple. As you can see, we have templates for all the different objects in Salesforce that has CPQ. It is the same record as we have for our standard objects with the same uh, options in there as far as fields, etc. Uh, and then we've also created for you a sequence for the CPQ data. This is the migration that you would run whenever you want to move the data. It's a list of all of the objects you're going to be moving in the order that you can move into. So after you've installed the templates in here, you would then go through and remove anything you're not using. Uh, so if you weren't using you know, attribute set, code template, whatever the case is, you can remove these from here to save time when you're doing your migrations. And then once this is done, you would then migrate the data just like you would any other da data migration job as referenced in that original data migrator video. Thank you.